So now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at this component. It's a really simple component, and it is a rail splitter. So this is the TLE 2426. Let's see if I can get a good view of it right there. But you can see the 2426. You don't see TLE anywhere. I see these from a, a number of sellers. I never see TLE on the image when they actually show the component, but it's always the uh, part number that they're selling them by. So I got this from DigiKey and they're also available on eBay. I haven't found them on Amazon or haven't found them at any uh, good sellers on Amazon as far as I'm concerned. But in case, it is facing us right now. The uh, pin number one, the left pin or the bottom pin, if you're looking at it this way, that's the out pin. The middle pin is the common pin and the top pin is the in pin. So all we have to do is put the in pin to the positive rail and the common pin to the negative rail of the power supply we want to split. So we're going to split a 5 volt power supply, the uh, breadboard power supply, and we can go down to 4 volts or up to 40 volts. Of course, always consult the data sheet for exact... Uh, specifications and everything but that's what it says so in any case let's turn the power on and see how this works and turn the uh, meter on and so we will verify that we have 5 volts at the rail there and we have 5 volts so now I'm gonna put the black probe to the out here right there it's our virtual ground so in relationship to the uh, out here we have a positive 2.5 volts, just a uh, spec below that, and a negative 2.5 volts, just a spec lower. But that is the main takeaway. So now we have a split power supply as long as the output of whatever we are uh, powering comes to this point. Then it can be either more positive or negative using the same power supply, as you can see there. So really straightforward component. And I would definitely use this way before an op amp to uh, split a power supply, but it was uh, it worked just fine using the op amp, and it was more educational. That's why I used it earlier, but I'll probably be using this a lot more in upcoming videos. So, in any case, hopefully you enjoyed that. This is only I think it's only a couple of dollars or something. I don't remember the exact price. I remember it wasn't bad though. It. Uh, it uh, wasn't all that expensive and so it's uh, probably definitely worth it a lot more than paying extra for a split power supply in my opinion as long as you only need uh, about 20 milliamps sinking or sourcing or worst case scenario you can even go up to 40 milliamps sinking or sourcing so it's pretty versatile I think for the price hopefully I find something better and uh, buy it and make videos with it but uh, for now I think this is about the best you can do for a uh, simple split power supply that doesn't need a ton of current. 